Hello guys and welcome to another Windows 8 tutorial and this tutorial is going to be based off of the Windows 8 Metro UI interface and this interface that you guys are all acquainted with by now is a bit of a problem to the ones that don't like it so if you guys really don't like it I'm going to show you how to bypass it and go directly onto the desktop instead of from here you'll be logged on to here and that won't usually show up so there's a tool called uh, for desktop either 64 or 32 bit and that combined with a task scheduler you're gonna go ahead and be able to be enabled and logged into the desktop without looking at the Metro UI interface so what I'm gonna show you is a couple steps and what you want to do on your keyboard you want to go ahead and press Windows then R and then you want to go ahead and type that in task schedule dot MSC and once you go ahead and type that in, just press OK. So it's uh, T A S K S C H D dot M S E. All right, just press OK. This window will come up. You want to go ahead and click on Task Schedule Library, which is right here. And then next, inside the white area, you want to go ahead and right click and create new task, not basic task, but create new task. And what's going to happen is you're going to go ahead and name it. You can name it uh, Skip Metro UI, Bypass Metro UI, or Start Desktop. I'm going to go ahead and start Desktop. Just name it anything like that. Alright, next I'm going to go ahead and run at highest privileges and then configure for Windows 8. Next on the triggers, I'm going to go ahead and select a new task and then I'm going to go ahead and on schedule select at logon and then I'll go ahead and press OK. So on the new trigger you want to go ahead and at logon and then just press OK. The actions are going to be the programs that you'll be using. So press new, start a program, browse for that program and what you're going to do before anything is you're going to go ahead and move this program to any folder besides the desktop. So if you go ahead and put it on the desktop, it's not going to work. So what you can do is you can go ahead and put these two programs inside a folder, say a Windows folder, paste them right here, just right click and paste, and then uh, you'll have them, and then select them. You're going to select the 64-bit if you have the 64-bit, press open, and then press OK. Just for safekeeping for the 64-bit um, versions, go ahead and select the 64, I mean 32-bit too. So you're going to start a program, browse, and select the 32-bit just for safekeeping. Um, press open, press OK. If you have a 32-bit, just select the 32-bit. Alright, so next what you want to do is just press OK and then you should have it ready. Now go ahead and just restart your computer and find out if your computer actually logs on to the desktop opposed to the Metro UI. So I'll go ahead and show a camera version and we'll see if it works. Alright, hold on guys. Okay, we are logging into Windows 8. We're going to go ahead and bypass the Metro UI interface and then show you guys how to go right into the desktop. So we're going to go ahead and go into Windows 8 and we are inside the desktop opposed to logging on to the Metro UI interface. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope this helps you um, enjoy Windows 8 a lot better. If you guys have any questions, comments, just let me know and stay tuned for another video. Alright, take care guys.